This perk combination is the cataclysmic god roll, except it's actually not, and today I'm going to be showing you why there's something even better. Yo, what's going on guys, it's G Miners here, and on my last video I tested DPS values of each linear fusion rifle, including Cataclysmic, and as most people are aware, bait and switch is currently the best option for Cataclysmic, and no other linears have access to this, which is a 35% damage buff, which is the largest practical damage perk in the entire game, and this just requires you to deal damage with all three weapons in a short duration, and then lasts 10 seconds. When combined with 4th times the charm, bait and switch lasts for almost exactly 1 mag of damage, so it's kind of perfect, and by the time you reload, you simply swap weapons, shoot each again to reproc bait and switch, and then go back to dealing damage. The issue with this is that the rotation actually hurts the weapon's DPS and total damage output. In the recent video I put out, I calculated the total damage output of Cataclysmic, explaining that the maximum amount of shots you can shoot is going to be 32. This is from a base reserve size of 20 total shots and a 6 round mag, so with 4 times the charm, every 4 crit shots we land, we return 2 to the mag for free, which makes each mag provide 10 shots if you hit each and every crit. So with 3 mags and 2 bullets to spare for a total of 20 shots, this is how we get all the way up to 32. It wasn't until I read this comment on the video that I realized there might be an even better option. The idea was that if you truly wanted to maximize the amount of shots that you could get back from 4 times the charm, you could just throw in some extra reloads. This would allow you to use the last two bullets returned from 4 times the charm to reproc the perk if combined with an earlier reload instead of just shooting them off. Now obviously this would hurt total damage and DPS as it wouldn't maximize the time you are using bait and switch and there would be way too many reloads during a single damage phase. But I wanted to test if you could actually chain 4 times the charm across a reload, meaning that in Cataclysmic with a max size of 6 after shooting the very last two bullets, if we reloaded fast enough we could get 4 times to proc after shooting just 2 shots in the new mag. With bait and switch, this would obviously never work because you only have two seconds in between shots before the counter is reset, so trying to reload and swap and shoot both weapons to reproc takes way too long, but with Focused Fury, this should work. The only issue is that even in a Luna Well with max reload speed and a 0.9x scaler, there wasn't enough time to proc the perk. However, with Enhanced 4th times the Charm, you now get 3 seconds and the rotation does work. Looking at the numbers here and comparing the damage of both rolls, we already said that bait and switch is going to get off 32 shots. Now assuming the most optimal damage rotation, that's going to be 4 times that we proc bait and switch. So 4 shots hit for base damage to proc it, and then 28 hit for the increased damage. Base damage is going to be 56,586, so this roll would hit for a total of 2.37 million damage. The Focus Fury roll, on the other hand, with Enhanced 4th Times, is going to give us 38 shots in total. Three of these are going to be used to proc the 20% damage increase, so they're going to be base damage, and then after that, the other 35 shots are increased by the 20%. So with the exact same base damage, this roll will hit for a total of 2.55 million damage. So comparing those to each other, Focus Fury is actually able to deal around 8% more damage. Now I know some people will say they don't really care or 8% isn't that much, but keep in mind this is the same exact buff that something like Lumina increases your damage by, and this is way easier to use than bait and switch. Many times in King's Fall on day 1, my team found bait and switch to be dealing less damage in certain damage phases because of the time spent proccing the perk. When it comes to comparing DPS values, I ended up shooting off 3 mags so that you could really see how much extra time it takes when you incorporate bait and switch into the equation, and then on top of that, for the Focus Fury roll, we shot off 12 rounds per mag on the 2nd and 3rd mag because, once again, we are chaining 4 times between multiple mags, so that roll ended up firing 4 more shots across the damage duration than the bait and switch roll. You can see that the bait and switch roll is going to end up taking 38.34 seconds in total, and the focus fury roll takes 35.96 seconds. So even with firing 4 additional shots, it was faster, and now if we look at the total damage output, the bait and switch roll would have fired 30 shots, 3 of which would have been base damage, so that comes to 2.23 million damage, which is 58.2 thousand damage per second. 
Focused Fury also would have dealt three shots at base damage, but in total, we shot 34 shots. So 31 of these would have been increased by 20%. So that comes out to 2.27 million damage, which is 63.3 thousand damage per second. Meaning that Focus Fury is going to be a better perk all around for total damage output by 8% as we already covered, and in DPS by almost 9%. Now, obviously, that's going to be for longer damage phases, so bait and switch might beat it out on the shorter end when looking at single mag DPS values, and obviously, you do need enhanced fourth times for this to work. I think Focus Fury is going to be much easier overall, and a lot can go wrong with bait and switch, like missing shots, messing up swaps, being out of range, or even having non-hit scan weapons you are using miss as well. And obviously, that's all going to be kind of skill issues in most cases, but mistakes do happen, so making your life as easy as possible is always going to be best. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I was personally shocked at how the math came out for this, and I will definitely be using Focus Fury on my Cataclysmic from this point on, unless it's a super short damage phase. I do also stream a bunch over on my Twitch, doing some low mans and speed runs. So if you ever want to watch live, there is a link in the description below, along with my Discord server, if you guys want to come over there and ask questions as well. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. As always, have a good one. Peace.